May 13, 1985, years of conflict between the city of Philadelphia and a small urban group known as MOVE ended in a violent day-long encounter. It was one of the most devastating days in the modern history of this city. The big story tonight is the effort to evict MOVE. The effort has turned into a disaster. Can you describe the philosophy of MOVE? We were being taught about the corruption in this system. The system, the establishment, you. Did you consider the MOVE organization to be a terrorist group? People who threaten to shoot and kill neighbors, police. I think that's a pretty adequate description of the word terrorist. Where is it written that we could not have a religion of our own? This system had one intention, to either kill MOVE people or to put us in prison as long as possible. It's just that simple. More than three dozen Philadelphia policemen surrounded the building after a MOVE member was spotted on the roof wearing a hooded mask and carrying a shotgun. We intend to seize control of the house. We will do it by any means necessary. Every one of us knew that someone was gonna die. Did you have a concern that the people inside that house might be in physical danger? Excuse me, to yes, ask me, well, what we concerned is complete insanity. There has just been a huge explosion here. We don't know what it means, but it just shook the whole place. It was a huge blast. Did it ever occur to you that this might have been a dangerous device? Yes, ma'am. The fire got real heavy and we couldn't breathe. Then that's when we started yelling. What did you say? What did you yell? We want to come out. There's no one that I know in city government that would intentionally go out there to burn those people to death. There's no one that I know of could do that. I remember as soon as I scooped them up, he said to me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. 